Hello everyone. Today I will demonstrate how to deploy TLS configure at Postgres cluster using QTB inside Kubernetes. So I have already a running Kubernetes cluster here. You can see that. Now let's just check the QCTL version here. So you can see that the client version here is 1.22.2 and the server version here is 1.21.1. And if we also list the helm charts here, so you can see that we have we have three helm charts like keep you host manager, keep you provisioner. There are the ports for keep you host manager and keep you provisioners. Uh, with which we are going to actually deploy our Postgres cluster and we have also installed our cert manager here like uh, uh, this cert manager is going to handle all the certificate creation and issuing part so now let's uh, look into our uh, Postgres YML here so if we just uh, look into our Postgres YML so here you can see that type a version here is v1 alpha 2 then the kind here is postgres then the name here is demo pg the name is demo then here is the version 11.11 which is actually our uh, postgres version then uh, here is the replica count that means that we are going to uh, create a three node postgres cluster then the estimate mode here is hot the entire dot mode is scrum then it's mode is very very full and the dimension policy here is wipe out. That means that when you're going to delete this instant, it will delete all the secret PVC that is going to be created for this uh, 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 Postgres uh, cluster. So yeah. Then here is the TLS spec where we created the issuer reference that with which uh, issuer uh, we're going to issue our created certificate for this uh, Postgres cluster and also for the client. And here is the our uh, storage uh, uh, spec here we have requested for storage around 10 gb so and so before uh, deploying this one we need to first get this issuer uh, manually so you can see that let's just look into the issuer yml first so you can here you can see that uh, this is actually our issuer yml so in our spec section we have provided a ca uh, where we have provided a secret name so the secret name is actually going to content our csr and ca key uh, for this issuer so let's just deploy this one uh, so before uh, deploying this issuer we need to first create this post uh, secret name post uh, secret post case ca so let's first secret the create the secret so uh, you can see that we have uh, created the post case ca secret successfully then we can now apply the issuer and here you can see that we have uh, applied the issuer uh, properly uh, let, now let's just get the issuer to uh, see if uh, this we can use this one right now so you can see that the uh, uh, issuer's uh, is ready, yes, ready status is true so we can now issue use this issuer to issue new uh, certificates so let's just uh, apply now our demo pg So you can see that we have created our uh, demo PG YML here. And you can see that there are demo PG zero and demo PG one is now uh, up and uh, running and also demo PG two is coming up. So you can see that our Postgres keeps it get uh, Postgres uh, demo space demos uh, command is here. You can see that the Postgres status here is provisioning. Uh, that means that uh, he, uh, here our operator is doing some uh, configuration to sync, uh, sync all the nodes uh, in the clusters. Uh, here you can see that the status here is ready. So now we can use this uh, Postgres cluster for uh, connections. Now uh, here you can see that uh, we have uh, disk, uh, we have get the endpoints for namespace demo, and here are three endpoints here: demo pg, demo pg ports, and demo pg standby. So demo pg is actually referring to the uh, the current primary uh, port uh, that is actually accepting connection as a primary. And demo PC ports actually uh, kind uh, referring to all the ports uh, like uh, demo PC 0, demo PC 1, and demo PC 2. And demo PC standby is actually uh, referring to the only the standby um, standby uh, standby ports. So from this demo PC, you can see that here is the IP 
that is the kind that is the current primary ip so if we just look into our uh, ports list here with the ip then you can see that this uh, this demo pc 0 is actually our current primary so let's just check the log for confirmation so here you can see that uh, from this demo pc 0 log the this pod is ready to accept connection so you can say that this is actually our primary and if we just look into other port like demo pg1 you can see that the driver system is ready to accept read only connection so this one is actually our uh, standby uh, and you can also see that this pod is actually in entering standby mode so we can say that demo pg1 and demo pg2 is actually our standby mode uh, is, is our standby pod and demo pg3 is actually our uh, primary pod so now let's uh, check our uh, let's look into our, uh, let's check into our demo PC port, then PSQL to connect our database, then you can like show SSL. If we see that, then you can see that the SSL is on. Uh, now let's just get, uh, exit from here and let's just uh, get maybe data post case. Postgres.com file, and you can also see from here that we have from here you can see that we have already also configured our postgres conf configuration file with the ssl cert file key file and ca file so we can say that uh, the in our server we have successfully enabled ssl uh, configurations you can also check uh, the pg start ssl so let's just select all from So here you can see that uh, the, you can see the version of uh, SSL here is TLS version 1.3 and the SSL here is true. So like uh, we can say that, that uh, we have successfully configured our TLS uh, configured uh, Postgres cluster. So that's all from my side. Thank you. Everyone.